Have you ever been walking somewhere in a rush when suddenly you lock eyes with the most drop dead gorgeous woman you've ever seen? You want to say something, but I'd only have a minute or two anyways. It's not worth it. I'll keep going, right? Wrong. So in today's challenge, I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to meet and connect with women when you're on a time crunch in 60 seconds or less. If you're new here, I am on a mission to successfully approach 30 women over the course of 30 days, documenting the entire thing from start to finish on this channel for the entire month of January. So far, we've approached girls while jogging. We've approached girls using Andrew Tate's pickup line. We've approached girls at the airport. We've approached girls at the mall. We picked up two girls in one day, and I even picked up girls as an introvert. Is it bad that I was actually nervous? That one was very cringe. Which brings us to today, where we will be successfully picking up a girl in 60 seconds or less. My goal with all of this is to inspire you with the confidence to approach that stranger and spark a connection the next time you're out and about. This is day 11 of the revolution. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I like your outfit. Just thank you. What's your name? Benjamin. Nice Hi. To nice to meet you too. Oh, my right's here. Uh, no worries. Sorry. Uh, all good. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's your name? Where are you? I'm very happy. What are you up to? I'm with the boyfriend. Nice to meet you. Guys will literally do no hands wheelies with no helmet on, no gear, yet still too afraid to approach a girl. See me. Hi. Hi. I like your outfit. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Very unique name. What's your name? Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. Nice to meet you. I like your art. Thank you. Very fun. Are you traveling? No, I'm not. Cool. Thank you. Do you live here? I'm living here for the month. I'm here very cool. Yeah, I'm coming from New York. You have a work trip, escape the snow. It's literally snowing back on right now. I know. I, know. I used to live in that part of the East Coast. So. Really, where at? Yeah, I lived in. No way, I went to. That'd be cool. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I have and whatnot. Yeah, I live like in, like the, the, I don't know, like the weird part, of the, and then I live in the area. Yeah, yeah, it's a really popular spot. Yeah, so very cool. cool. Welcome to my. This is your first one here. Oh, I have family here, so I've been here quite a lot. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll welcome back. Yeah, well, I'm headed this way. I have to go meet a friend, but it'd be cool to get your Instagram grab yeah, me out for sure. Are you waiting for an Uber? I am. Yeah, figured. Do people have cars around here? They do. I used to have one, but there was no need for it anymore. Cool. You're going out tonight or are you going back home? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to meet a friend, eat a little bit, do some dinner, and then. If I go out, I definitely can't go out like this. I have to, you know. Yes, you can. I have to style it up. Yes, you can. You look fine. And if you like it, who cares? Who cares to put the thing? Yeah, I'm from New York, so I always have to dress it up a little bit. Keeps it fun. Well, I have your Instagram. I love shoot you a message. Okay, cool. It was a pleasure Very nice meeting you. Have a nice one. You too. We need to watch that back and see if it was actually 60 seconds or not, because I don't know if we beat it. So you, the viewer at home, knows because we put a timer on screen, but I have to watch that back to see if that one actually counts as 60 seconds. Let's see. At this point in my long career teaching guys how to be more confident and how to improve their relationships with women, the number one predictor of whether or not you will be successful and build the types of relationships you want is your willingness to tolerate excuses. The excuses that you yourself make. One of the most common objections I get from guys who want to have better relationships but aren't really showing up and putting in the work is that I don't have time to date women. Dating girls is too much time, it's too much work. I literally just showed you that it is really possible for you to be going about your day to see a woman and not derail your entire schedule. You simply just go up, start a conversation, and get in and out in 60 seconds or less. So if you're watching this at home and you found yourself saying, I don't have time to date women, this is too much work, it takes too much time, I want you to genuinely ask yourself, number one, is there anything in life that's truly worth having that doesn't require a concerted intentional effort and number two what's stopping you from meeting and connecting with the women that you're already seeing as you're walking through your day-to-day -day life 
The funny thing is too, is that most of the guys who say that they don't have time, they're still swiping on dating apps 20, 30 minutes a day, laying down on their phone with a double chin, swiping, getting zero results. And yet when they're faced with the prospect of a beautiful woman that crosses their path, they're powerless and too afraid and frankly too pussy to go out and get what they want. If you're constantly depriving yourself and domesticating yourself from what your desires are, that repressed energy is gonna carry over and it's going to impact more areas of your life than you might think. You know, it's a bit of a shame because that girl was really cool and that conversation was actually really engaging, but I needed to get out of there for 60 seconds in the name of the experiment and in the name of you guys at home. So don't make my effort in vain. I just broke all of the excuses you have at home. So if you're at home and you wanna learn exactly how to do this, my three-step formula for integrating daytime interactions to go like this into your own life, then click on the link below and get access to my three-step formula that shows you exactly how I'm able to do this, what to say, how to move the interaction forward, and even what to do after we get the contact info so that you can turn that into a potential date, hopefully potential relationship.